Do you believe that people are leaving the state of California in mass? Well, if you do, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn for sale and it's got your name on it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Hans Strazino with another video. Today, we're talking about the California mass exodus that never happened, because it's not happening. Frankly, all of the data is suggesting that people are not moving much more, if at all, uh, out of the state than they have in previous years. It's really popular to blame taxes. It's really popular to blame COVID and point to that and look at a small section of data and suggest there's a large trend happening. I wanna share some stuff that I just found recently today and yesterday. And it's totally debunking that and what it really means for you as someone who might be looking to buy or sell here in the East Bay. And if you get value out of this, thumbs up, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna continue to put out content just like this and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So, let's get into it. All right, so to start off, I've got this Wall Street Journal article that was published on March 5th that quotes the uh, San Francisco Chronicle, which tweeted out that only about 3.7% of the Bay Area population actually moved during the pandemic thus far. And when you go back a couple of weeks to an article that they published uh, in the middle of February, they did an analysis of address changes filed with the United States Postal Service, specifically in San Francisco. And what they found, interestingly, was that of the top 20 locations of where these address changes went to, all of them except for one were in the state of California, and of the top 15, eight were within the Bay Area. Then you go over and you look at this brief that was filed from the California Policy Lab out of Berkeley, California, uh, that analyzed all the movement of people in the state, uh, demographics of people from race, uh, age, uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, and you found out where they went uh, and, and how many of them went there, and simply they supported that. They couldn't find any trend that said millionaires are leaving, uh, people are fleeing to Texas in mass, that sort of thing. It's really simply a reorganization of where people are going. Uh, what we found, as you could see from the San Francisco example, is a lot of people are coming here to Alameda County, specifically Oakland and Berkeley and Alameda. That's what I'm seeing on the ground personally when I'm uh, going and representing buyers and sellers. A lot of them are coming from SF or the peninsula. They want a slightly uh, larger house, but they can't get it over there, so they're coming over here where the price per square foot is more reasonable or uh, they don't have to commute anymore, so they want to be out in Orinda and be in a little bit more of a nature setting or something like that. That's what I'm feeling and that's what the data is supporting. Additionally, some of the places where a lot of people are heading to is the mountains, the Sierra counties. That is why it is so hard to get a vacation rental in Tahoe right now. Uh, it is because everyone's moving there. So where did all this conversation about people moving and leaving in mass come from? Well. Number one, I think it's a really good clickbait uh, item. It gets people all excited and fired up and fearful and that sort of thing. And it's admittedly, I've clicked on a number of those videos to watch them. Now that's not to say that people aren't leaving. They certainly are. I have clients who are, have relocated to Portland or are going to Austin. Uh, that is real, that is happening. But it's not happening in the mass that we're seeing. And in fact, there are two factors through some of the research that I did that are really indicating uh, that the population is shifting more than uh, actually just COVID related moving and taxes driving people out and that sort of thing although I'm sure there is some of that. But number one is people are actually having babies less often. The birth rate in California is down, than it, uh, lower than it was in history. Uh, for context, there were you know, millions and millions of people being added to the population just from births every year, and that is steadily declining. Um, and so that's getting rolled into the population figures. Additionally, the interstate uh, migration has uh, changed pretty drastically as well. A lot more people are leaving California than are coming back into the state from other states. Uh, so that net is negative. However, the one group of uh, people who are coming into the state to sort of fill the, the net uh, outflow are 
uh, international people, people who are foreign born. Uh, the state of California has something like 27% of its citizens were born outside of the United States and now live here. Uh, and that group, that demographic, uh, turns out during COVID has started to migrate and shift. A lot of people land here in California um, first when they come to this country and then they go elsewhere is what the data is suggesting. And due to COVID, that movement has happened more rapidly. Additionally, one thing that I found super interesting and one trend that we're definitely going to want to pay attention to relative to affordable housing and uh, income and wages and all of this sort of thing is the socioeconomic balance of who's leaving and who's going. Uh, the one group of people from an education standpoint that are coming in are the people who have four-year bachelor degrees as opposed to you know, middle or lower class or blue collar workers are leaving because a lot of those jobs don't exist here anymore in the way that they used to. However, the tech um, and the white collar jobs are still pretty prevalent in the state. So that is attracting that net group. The other slightly morbid thing that uh, you should consider when looking at these statistics is that the death rate has significantly increased since the beginning of coronavirus. Uh, I was reading uh, that since uh, COVID had started, the death rate in the state of California on a monthly or quarterly basis, whatever you break it down on, has actually two, three, and in some cases four X, depending on where you look. And so when you couple the fact that people are having babies less often, uh, there's a higher death rate, and then there's less people coming in than are leaving uh, because of jobs and what have you, as well as the biggest group of, of people coming into the state, which is uh, foreign born immigrants, are actually as a group leaving the state for other states. You get a net uh, minus. You, you see the population decline. And uh, when you look at it through those lenses, it starts to make a little bit of sense. It's not just people are sick of California. Yeah, there are those. It's not just there's people trying to get out of uh, paying the state income tax and the higher cost of living. There are those people too. But it's not the mass trend that you're seeing. Because when you're on the ground, you're writing offers, you're putting property out on the market. What I can tell you is that it's still quite competitive. I'm hearing of 40 plus offers on uh, starter homes, for example, still 10 to 20 offers on the middle to high tier homes all day, every day. So what that tells me personally is that people are not so much just getting out of California to get out of California, but they're re-examining what uh, life means to them, what home means to them, where they want to have uh, their children, when they want to when they want to have children, how they want to spend their free time, how they want to live, work, play, eat, sleep, all of that sort of stuff. The coronavirus pandemic has above all made people re-examine what it is to be home and not just the physical home but the state the city they live in as well and when you couple all that together and you start to look at where things are going and where they've been it's no wonder that we are in this space that we are now i'm not saying throw all of those other videos out and don't pay attention to businesses leaving and that sort of thing because that's really really important and if businesses do start to leave in mass that is going to take jobs with it and that's going to take the population with it no doubt but it's just not happening so guys in conclusion that's what I'm seeing. Uh, a lot of people are, are redistributing themselves. The San Francisco, as a great example, was very dense. It was actually the second densest city going into the pandemic in the country. Um, and a lot of people are leaving that area, leaving that density, just like the condo market. They don't want to be squished in there with their neighbors, have a real high cost of living. They're re-examining what is important to them. And that in a nutshell, is what you're seeing play out here uh, with the redistribution of population. And I would argue that it's probably a good thing that people are not going to be so squished together because it'll cut down on traffic and some other fun stuff that I uh, won't get into on this video. But hopefully you got some value out of that. I've got everything I referenced and researched linked up down below so you can check all of that out. And of course, if you do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to continue to put out weekly content just like this and you're not going to want to miss it. So without any further ado, I'm going to get on out of here. This is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you guys on the next one.